So here's what I would say, and being in North Carolina, um, you already have a banking relationship with Navy Fed. They do offer, um, they do offer a, what's called a checking line of credit. Yes. So you could look into that. The max that they offer is 15K. You could look into that. Or if you have another credit union or local bank that offers a personal line of credit, my recommendation would be to start building a relationship with that bank, right? Yes. Build a relationship with that bank that offers the line of credit shifting all your income, right? So shifting all income over to that new bank, opening up a checking and a savings. Checking plus savings. And just, just send deposits over there, right? Build your, build your yeah. banking relationship with them for about three to four months. Simultaneously, we're doing debt snowball on your smallest debts, little by little. Another thing I would I would uh, really recommend is trying to um, just lower your expenses overall. Uh, l lately, I've been recommending a lot of people to live like this, just in general, where you live off 70% of what you make. So if you make $10,000, then what I do is I, I cut myself off 30%. So I act like I make 30% less than what I actually made. And I think a lot of you guys that are doing velocity banking, if you're like really trying to accelerate your debt payoff timeline, is to simply live off 70% of what you make. This way, this whole 30% could be used for cash flow, um, but, but but can also be used as a you know an emergency. Um, most people do it like this, where they do ten percent for taxes and ten percent for saving, and then ten percent like giving or tithing, right? Um, but, but in velocity banking, technically you, you would have 30% more cash flow because we're using that money now to keep wiping out more debt, more expenses, things like that. And then like stuff like giving and saving, saving is velocity banking because we're wiping out debt, we're increasing cash flow. And then the giving part, you could just run that as an expense through your velocity banking taxes you don't have to really worry about because you're not a business owner right no right no. so it you know taxes already are taken care of for you but if you just do if you try to implement that lifestyle you'll drastically increase your cash flow which is going to help us get closer and closer to obtaining a nice you know personal unsecured line of credit to uh work with and then another thing is if you have any type of savings, whether that be in cash or a savings account somewhere, I would also shift that money over to the bank that you're trying to build a relationship with. So option, you know, one of your options is Navy Fed for the credit lines, right? Um, or you look for another local credit union bank in your area that offers a personal line of credit that we can that we can get okay so this is the long route right this is a bit of a longer term strategy we're basically trying to get access to to the line of credit um, mm -hmm. if they don't give us an offer from Navy Fed any questions okay. uh, yeah I didn't mention to you if you can look at the notes I may have to set up a call with you so I can actually attack that at the notes at the last end of it. Yeah, I do owe some IRS taxes. 
So I'll probably have to start with that because it's killing me in interest and penalties as well. Okay, that's a that's a that's a big curveball, right? So that's IRS. Yeah. I should have started with that. We got thirteen thousand one seventy nine sixteen. And you start paying they on it. Take from my return anyway, so huh? That's what they've been doing. They've been taking from my return that I get annually, so that's how it's been decreasing. But I haven't been making any payments on that. Okay, I would continue to allow them to take my tax return. Yeah. Okay. So that it remains in good standing. Um, so, so they're, so they're, they're not requiring a monthly payment right now. Is that correct? No. That's so correct. in that case, even though we're getting killed on interest, my cash flow does not go up if I pay this off. Does that make sense? Yes. So, so even if I had that 0% offer with Navy Fed and we said, okay, let's do a 9K chunk towards that. Yeah, you're going to save a, a, a bunch of money on interest, but there's no cash flow gain and you're still stuck at 298.59 and it's going to take you that much longer to pay off what you just shifted in debt, right? Right. So I would say, leave this alone and this is this is sounds crazy because it's like well wait a minute that's irs mm. but i would definitely i would just yeah. leave it alone allow them to keep taking my tax returns each and every year mm -hmm. we really remember that first strategy that i gave based on that balance transfer like a lot of things happened within a six to nine month period where we had a massive cash flow. We went from all the way from 300 to almost a thousand bucks in cash flow. So it might only be another year or two that you get beat up on the interest over here, but we're gonna get so much gains doing, knocking out the other things first, and then coming back to this once we have a line of credit, yeah. okay? okay? So 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 that's how yeah. I would that handle that. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I realized there was nothing I can really do unless I have a personal line of credit. I, mean, I really don't have a mortgage or anything. Like yeah, that, so. there's really, you know, it's such a it's such a big debt. Uh, it's a high interest rate. And if you don't have cash flow, you're really not going to do much damage. You know, and then even with a line of credit, even if I had a line of credit today, I still wouldn't chunk at that because there's no cash flow gain from it. So now I'm now I'm borrowing now I'm borrowing from Peter to pay Paul like everyone else does. Uh -huh. I did debt consolidation mm -hmm. and there was really no gain out of it because there's no cash flow gain. And that's the most important thing is, is getting a cash flow gain from shifting debt, doing the borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. <clears throat> okay. So debt snowball would be definitely what I need to do. Or for right now, for, for right now, if yeah. if we don't get the offer that they uh, want, that we want, okay, you know, and so right. and then yeah. So my specific question, just to reiterate that, um, just make sure that um, the offer at balance trans is it is it balance transfers only? If so, don't take it. If it does, if it's zero percent, make sure it's between two to four percent. Well, we can't we, we can't do nothing we can't do nothing about the fee, so we don't really care about that. The the main thing right. is zero percent offer. Mm -hmm. Like, what is the offer? Okay. Is it zero percent on purchases, oh. on balance transfers? Right. If it's a zero percent balance transfer offer for nine to twelve months, or even if it's you know eight months or whatever the case is. Can I still use the credit card to run my expenses without getting charged daily interest? Is that a possibility? If they say yes, 
then that means that when I swipe the card, I'm not gonna get charged interest right away. That's gonna help me do velocity banking on the credit card itself where I can dump most of my income in, take expenses out, keep cash flow in. If I cannot run expenses through the credit card because I'm gonna get charged simple interest daily, then I'm just going to do debt snowball on the credit card on Navy Fed for about six months and then apply for a line of credit. Okay? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, man. All right. <laughs>